back. So let's see. Oh yeah, you were. Uh, people were talking behind you, uh, looking angry as soon as you said that, Pikachu. Can I hear what That's they're saying? Good. No, they were whispering too loud. I'm still watching. I'm still watching the warp teams at one. So. So they're getting angry at me. Yeah. The one in front, uh, his expression hasn't changed. The one who's talking to you. I think you two should apologize. <laughs> We're not uh, I'm worthy. just. Well, I mean, that's just how I was taught. That doesn't mean it's the right way. I mean, my 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 mentor was kind of special. Your mentor sounds like he doesn't actually follow the Emperor's true light. Yeah. I think I'm going to start walking away from this conversation. Mercutio stands up a little straighter. My mentor was killed by filthy heretics. Hmm. I watched him bleed. Done. Sounds like your emperor wasn't truly protected then. Okay, you know what? Jay's gonna step out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it back. I'm taking a step back along with Jay. They have their eyes on me. I think I'll. Um, I should get the hell out of there. <laughs> the fuck is that critical hit? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you have a rock paper scissors with a psycho. Yeah, that's. That's actually pretty accurate. Thomas, he goes. He goes. I think. He goes. I think we should get the fuck out of here. They come. Um, they're looking at me funny. Thomas. Sorry, I was watching that weirdness. <laughs> How what about you this, brother? Door. I was saying. I think. Uh, he goes, I think we should get the fuck out of here. They're looking at me funny. How about well, this, brother? Door. I just give your pilgrimage its blessing, and I just leave. Yes, we believe you should leave, brother. As the crowd kind of ports like this to let you out. Mercutio, Mercutio just goes. Roll awareness, All right. everyone. Everyone, okay. Roll awareness. Oh, right. I, I instinctively click for the dice roller. <laughs> that's good. Well, I have real dice now. I don't have to. Yeah, that's just as bad as the keyboard, you know. Yeah, I don't remember your keyboard being that loud before. I think you have the wrong microphone. Maybe it's the new headphones. Probably the new headphones. Mm -hmm. Maybe your headphones aren't working. Uh, no, it's no. It's my head, it's my new headphones it. are fucking loud. So no, it shouldn't be the headphones. It should be the something with the mic. What's the position? My mic is right here. That's yeah. I don't know then. There we go. Right. Anything from you, Brad? For awareness? Brad, awareness. Brad's microphone's on the fritz again, I think. Brad Wareness. No, I'm just having trouble. Hold on. Okay. It's Brad Wareness month. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where your Brad is at this moment? Oh, man. Actually, no. Uh, it sounds like something from Rick and Morty. It does, doesn't it? Do you know where your Morty is? <laughs> Alright. Okay, right, um, none of you are able to notice this. Okay. Wait, what? You're sure. You're sure. Yeah, I rolled sure. 12. Everyone failed. Doesn't That's matter. amazing. Yeah, this thing it was so subtle. Dude. So high. Or, well, so low, actually. Be low for this, you know. So, rolled so it? low. Could you beat a three? Oh. No. So, it wasn't a net one then? No. Right. Eh, it doesn't matter. We just missed something. None of us know that, so let's continue. Suddenly, you know the explodes. Yeah, you know that something's going to kill us, right? <laughs> Nobody noticed. <laughs> it's like, someone's aiming like a rocket launcher directly at us, and the none of us can tell. The on a rocket launcher. <laughs> the explosion at least wipes out two of the party members. <laughs> All right, so you're heading to the port. Uh, yeah. Authority. Mercutio right. just looks back yes. at the pilgrims and just says, Fuck them. May the Emperor bless your holy journey. 
I look at Mercutio and go, those guys are a bunch of assholes. And Mercutio just sort of walks back with the party and just says, fucking douchebags. <laughs> I know, right? What the fuck? I don't worship the Emperor? Fuck those guys. That is like, I just, I just say to I say to Mercutio oh. that Whatever, that guy you're talking to is a filthy fucking liar. Language. Yeah. So he, yeah. So he does wear the emperor symbol in the shower. No. No. Don't worry, they're all Mercutio gonna die soon at, anyway. If um, if Lucius Mer um gets um, has his way. Mercutio just looks at Jay and just says, "It's cool. It's cool. Don't worry. Don't worry. After all, all emperor's children gotta die someday, and all emperor's children go get judged, and some emperor's children go to the filthy fucking warp where they all get tortured to death by goddamn demons. And if Lucius you know, has I his way, those guys will have it soon enough. Like oil okay, that's the Mercutio I know and fear. Well, <laughs> Mercutio's just ranting. <laughs> Dude, what's with the keyboard, Johnny? What am I, Jason? What am I? Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, wait. You're heading to, uh, the Porto. The office. And you know it's a massive building. It looks like this is the only well-maintained part of the fort. The building looks to be about, uh, 10, 20 stories high. Just made in the best type of the steel. It looks like it's actually been recently polished. The entire building. Well, who cares about that? Let's go in and get what we need. Because it looks nice. I'm admiring the architecture. You so do know the architecture. <laughs> Rikisha turns to Jay. <laughs> know your place! <laughs> what? Okay, uh, so you head inside. You notice people shuffling around inside, as well as a, uh, a single figure sitting at a desk. So this uh, is actually really connected to some sort of uh, computer. Okay, so this is actually a very decent looking interior. Yes, it looks very, very nice. It wait, is he like actually entered back into the mansion? Actually, like, wait, is he like actually oh. connected to the computer? Yeah. Alaric, do your thing. He's wired in. Alaric, do your thing. <laughs> do what thing? What's he doing? I don't know. I figure sitting in the chair is wearing a hat that comes down to about here. A bowler type of hat. And hat! in uh, reddish robes. Can I see his face? Okay. How are you doing? What's up? Yeah, pretty good. Here's my dad. I know, I said I. Yeah, I'm hey! Really I'm not really oh, good. Really? Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Yep. Okay, there's my dad. Uh, what, what is, um... That, what, can we see his face? Um... Yeah, it looks like an older gentleman, uh, graying hair, little mustache look, that he has. I look on my PDA for Gaius, the one that I got from my informant. It's not this guy. Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Huh. Well, it's a graying Charlie Chaplin. Hmm. Is he sitting there playing with two potatoes and forks? What? <laughs> What uh, oh, he's legion? Gallagher. What legion is he a chaplain? <laughs> what legion is he a chaplain of? What? You've never heard of Charlie Chaplin? I know who Charlie Chaplin is. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, Sounds wow. like you don't. Shut up. Sounds like you don't. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm wary of people. It doesn't cover his entire forehead, does he? The hat it goes down to about here. Damn it! Down to about just his eyebrow, just a little above. Everyone Someone, I, I, I look to my, I look to my psychers. He goes, Hitler somebody, loved Charlie Chapman. I'm going. Hey, he did. Check and see if films. there's anything about this guy. I'll do it. I'm wary of people with hats now. After like my last friend that we had to shoot. Mike, yeah, I swear, Mike, I swear my dice aren't loaded. Feels like there. I I swear <laughs> I don't lie. Okay. Um. What are you rolling on him? Uh, psych science. Seems normal. Uh, Jason, you want to throw your hand at it? He's like a regular guy. He looks like You're a regular guy. I know, but I'm wearing a hat. People around you. Specifically Wait. standing directly around you. <laughs> your party members. Hmm. Perception. Uh, everything that I just described, except 
it looks like his eyes are rapidly darting to what's on the screen. They don't as look like regular eyes. At that, okay. that's not guy. Should we just ignore? I thought I just said a. I thought I just said a Corvo. He's normal. It's just a building. Set it up. It's just like a reception to Jason. If he's the well, I turned to the part. If he's the receptionist, we're looking for someone. He could tell us what floor he's on, so we don't end up riding the elevator like a bunch of morons all day. No, I want to ride the elevator on every single floor. <laughs> that was we get it, and then we press all the buttons. Yeah. All right, so okay, I've just concluded he's normal. So who wants to talk to him? For I'm gonna talk to him. It's hard to see what's on the computer screen without walking around and looking at it behind him. Huh. That was nice. Elevator, just like. Okay, so it's not like it's <laughs> crazy enough. Then. I don't, hello, I guess, hello, sir. No, oh, what? What do you want? Yes, I, am, I was just wondering if you perhaps um, knew the directory of this building. I guess. As said before, sir, what do you want? We have a very busy day going on today. Oh, we wish to look at the um, the port manager. Uh, that, that was his title, right? You're looking for the prefect? Yes. The prefect, yeah, yeah, like prefect that works. Uh, Gaius Vicarian. No, oh. fuck, that's not his name. You're looking for Gaius. Did you say Vicarian? Gaius yes. or Seven. Main office Thank you, sir. should be easy to tell. Right, did you just say, um, Gaius Vicarian? Yes. Alright, yes, I go. Thank you, sir. Uh-huh. Gets back to work. Let's go. So, I guess we take the elevator? Okay, you guys take sure. the elevator. Going I think elevator. So how much elevator? No elevator anyway, music. Back, back to work, you plebeian. Oh, wait, there's no elevator music? Thank God. No. I'll make my own. Have... You'll notice a long hallway heading down to a single That's... office at the end of the hallway. There are no other offices at the side. It's just a long hallway. Anybody else find this creepy? So what floor are we He's on? in the corner office. Seventh. Seven. That's not Mercutio. too bad. Mercutio just kind of goes, <sighs> flashbacks. <laughs> Be ready, guys. This guy was in that ledger. Something is, because um, <laughs> I guarantee there's something fucked up with him. Oi, get moving! <laughs> and I'm walking to the hallway. You notice a door, standard plus steel. Uh, you see the name Prefect Gaius Anthracin written upon it. Yeah. Oh, and also, if there was elevator music, I'm pretty sure it would be this. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what the uh, door? I knock on the door. I open the door. Okay, you open the door. <laughs> I get on the door. knock and JJ opens knocking. the door. I get on the I get on the floor. You notice there's only one figure in the room. It looks to be a younger gentleman. Probably early twenties. Relatively very young. Who's uh kind of uh walking around the office filling out specific paperwork, looking around at stuff, and then occasionally looking out the window. He hasn't noticed you under yet. I can't Hello, notice sir! That. The office looks to be disheveled. Uh, papers are strewn everywhere. He doesn't look to be a very organized gentleman, unless this is his controlled chaos. Um, the figure there that you notice is uh, decked out in very, very fine clothing. And he's wearing a very nice hat. Fuck, I hate hats! I Let's say, just Hello, like my sir. Cementus office. Damn. No, what? Who are you? What do you want? Hi. You know, see me. Why did I... I hold on a second, out of character. Why did we come again? Remember, it was written on what you got. It was in the ledger. It was on your ledger that you had that you needed to meet with him because he dealt with Zax Hothane. Right. Who dealt with Lucius, and this guy knows what Lucius wants. You had it written down on the pad that... Okay, I say, uh, hello, sir, we um, we come talk to you about uh, Inquisitor Lucius and um, Inquisitor Lucius. Wait, is this guy, is this guy, is this Gaius? Yeah. That's what it says on the door, so you'd assume it's Gaius. Our says, not to quite allowed to be overheard. Well, he could be a secretary, Why don't too. we just Who's shoot Inquisitor him? Who's Inquisitor Lucius? No. <laughs> Just go okay, he doesn't know who he is. You kill everyone in the building. 
Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, gonna, yeah. Tell me I'm, I'm gonna... not worshiping the Emperor's light, do you? The man with the pale, blue, um, uh, the cold blue eyes. I have uh, no idea who you're talking about. Okay. Sir, if I might recommend, just step away from the window. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, you step away from the window. I had a bad window. experience. I got so bad experiences with people he standing near the window. side of the window. The steel wall. That ain't gonna help. I um um I, I can just tell you that. Yeah. That guy, he's gonna get shot through the wall. He sounds like he's telling the truth. <laughs> I'm gonna no. I'm gonna roll to see with my inquisitorness. Suddenly, something just smashes through the window, appears, shoots him, and then jumps out the window. <laughs> and he was aware. And it was aware. Uh, <laughs> twenty on a um twenty on awareness to see if he's lying. He's holding something back. I say, sir. He goes. He goes. We he goes. We do work for the um the Inquisition. He goes. He goes. Don't bullshit me. Well, let's see proof that you're working with the Inquisition. We can still show, just shoot uh, him. Show him all that shit we had before. Actually, I guess. I'm, I'm a priest. Been. I'm pretty sure I could just show him my Bible and say we come in I the know, name I, of I say, I, I, I point to Mercutio. Hi, I'm a pr- Hi, my name is Mercutio. I was chosen by the Inquisition to, lead, to be a part of this Hi. mini crusade. I don't care unless you have proof. So if you don't, come had... kindly leave my office. Yeah. Oh, this is. Busy. I'm very busy today. Yeah. Don't oh, come on. Are you sure you couldn't potentially just, you know, give us a little help? We came all he this way. To his desk. I'm starting to turn to charm this man. <laughs> You're going to have to yeah. roll. I want to roll for charm. <laughs> fine, I'll, okay, fine, I'll use the same type What is his so desk you. made out of? It's a nice... Mahogany. Mahogany. So not your seven. <laughs> it's actually breathing fire currently, as you mentioned. <laughs> oh, it's breathing uh, fire. I, can I, roll, I rolled a 66 in charm, but I have a plus 20. So you rolled a I have three six. checks. He starts to slow down as he's heading towards his desk, shit. but he's still ignoring you. I oh, mean, after all, aren't we all just... Come on. Come on. Hi, right, Mike. Yes? I, you know, as I... I was rolling to intimidate him. Look what I got. Just tell it's, it's dark. I can't see. Oh, I can't see. It's a, nat, it's a nat one. Okay. Um, I say, he goes, cut the, cut the bullshit! Like you basically McCree, that, put your hands directly around his side and slam him into the desk. You can hear him cut the bullshit! from the wood as you Wait. slammed him into them. And while you're repeatedly doing this, then... What we just saying? got to close by a bunch of reaches demons. behind him and closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to be McCready on him. He goes, we just, just got to run around from a bunch door, of you fucking You'll notice the demons. elevator start to open just before you close the door. But Is I'm there any furniture to put the prop against the door? <laughs> you could put the desk, the chair, the couch. That's about it. I'll, I'll move the couch. Can I, can I finish intimidating? Jay, help me move this couch. <laughs> okay, I help him. I say, we got the out of his forehead. Couch. I in, the last 70, in the last 72 <laughs> hours, I've gotten the run around by all these fucking monsters. He goes, you know something about it um, with the man with the cold blue eyes. You're going to fucking tell me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How is he still talking after the amount of times you hit him? <laughs> because I'm just going, uh, I'm doing McCready. <laughs> okay. Does he answer me? I, I don't know anything about Lucius. I haven't heard about him. But I bet I do know who's who's been working with him. Who? Give me uh, a name. Hothing. Hothing. Hothing and Gilgen. We just came from them. Who were you trying to contact just now? I was trying to contact security to get you out from fucking beating me on a desk. <laughs> well, you no, call no. them off right now. Yeah. I haven't no, hit the button yet. Wait, is that a real gun? Then why are you? No, it's a, it's a pellet gun. He goes, oh. then why, he goes, then why is, um, then why are my buddies blocking up the door? The elevator, d- Mercutio just looks up, <clears throat> the elevator door just opened, there are people stepping out of it. Uh, that wasn't security. This, this is going to be awkward. Isn't Thomas going to investigate? Alright, I'm going to ask him about the... Thomas going to investigate who was coming out of the elevator? Yeah, before they feel it, out. 
I, I still want to. I got to ask him still about the cargo hold, like the, the artifacts they're bringing in. Yes. What about the artifacts he's bringing in? I don't know anything about that. He just said he was bringing in oh. large, large amounts of uh, some new drug or something. Well, guess what, buddy? You, um, you know, you were helping this motherfucker bring in um, what may make this planet extinct. What? No, 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 I'm not. Yes. After the shit we've seen, it turns people into fucking monsters, and you, you were helping. No, no, I'm not helping. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, everyone has to grease their palms a bit. You can't survive on Desalem just on what you basically get paid by this office. You can't survive on oh, yeah, Desalem. Following Thomas, uh, yeah. Joe, you see the small petite woman that walks out of the elevator, switching that pers perspective, carrying right. papers. Uh, since oh. you rolled so well. You can notice she looks like she's hiding something under the papers. But mm. oh shit! As she's Thomas, oh, kind of Th like this. Thomas and Cole, you're up. Tom, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Thomas, I'd be careful. She has something. Oh, she's not quite a full secretary. She has something in her papers. Hey, wait, wait. I say this to the guy. Did we seal the, the, the door or? No, we did. I say we did. No, we're, we're basically standing by with this couch. <laughs> it's not your. Uh, it's switching to Jason's and uh, Joe's perspective. Yeah, I, like, I know, but that's what I said to him in response. Like whenever he said, "Can't live on Desalom without greasing your palms." Like you can't live on it. It's fucking dead. What the hell is Desalom? It's the name of the planet we're on. Where we are. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's embarrassing. Right, that's not. Thomas asked not... woman if he can help her with something. Uh, what? What? Who? Who are you? Oh, I'm just here on business with uh, Mr. Guy is here. I was just I was just leaving, but I just want to see if you can help if I can help you before I head out. Oh, uh, the, no, no, I've got my papers. I just need to head to uh, head to uh, Guy's office to deliver them. Oh, yeah. Um, I think he was gonna take a nap or something. That doesn't uh, sound like I just wanna, uh, he he doesn't he doesn't really seem to be himself right now. Maybe he just leave it in front, leave it in uh, front of the door right well, now. I, I really have to turn in these papers, so if you just, just shoot stand her, stand to the side. Yeah. All right, no, no problem. Stand to the, the side. Let's go like this. Mark at zero, lady. Oh, so, oh boy. Good question, man. Um, pause the recording. Yeah. 